In the heart of France, during the turbulent era of the late 16th century, an event unfolds that would leave an indelible mark on the annals of monarchy. This is the story of King Henry III, a monarch whose life was as dramatic as it was tragic, ending in a fateful assassination that sent shockwaves through the kingdom. Henry III was born on 19th of September, 1551, in the Royal Chateau de Fontainebleau. He was the fourth son of King Henry II and Catherine de' Medici, a woman whose influence and ambition would play a significant role in her son's life. As a child, Henry was not initially expected to ascend the throne due to his older brothers. However, fate had different plans. Educated in the arts, languages, and military strategy, Henry quickly displayed a sharp intellect and a flair for leadership. His charm and good looks made him a favorite at court. At the age of 16, he proved his mettle by leading the French forces to victory in the Battle of Jarnac during the French Wars of Religion, which was a series of conflicts between Catholics and Huguenots, which we already talked about in our previous video. Henry's elder brothers, Francis II and Charles IX, reigned before him, but both died young, paving the way for Henry's ascent. In 1573, he was elected King of Poland and Grand Duke of Lithuania, a position he reluctantly accepted. However, just a year later, his brother Charles IX died, and Henry returned to France to take up the mantle of King of France, becoming Henry III in 1574. His reign was marked by turmoil and strife. The country was deeply divided along religious lines, with the Catholic League and the Protestants constantly at odds. Henry, a Catholic himself, sought to mediate and bring peace to his fractured kingdom. His policies often vacillated, attempting to placate both sides, but satisfying neither. The king was known for his flamboyant personality and controversial court. His close relationship with a group of young men, known as the Mignon, led to rumors and scandal. Many nobles and citizens viewed his court with suspicion and disdain, perceiving it as decadent and morally corrupt. By the late 1580s, France was embroiled in the War of the Three Henrys, a conflict involving Henry III, Henry of Navarre, who was a Protestant leader, and Henry, the Duke of Guise, who was a Catholic leader. The Duke of Guise, who was backed by the Catholic League, became a significant threat to Henry III's throne. In December 1588, Henry III took drastic action. He ordered the assassination of the Duke of Guise and his brother, the Cardinal of Lorraine, during a meeting at the Chateau de Blois. This bold move was intended to eliminate his most formidable rivals, but instead plunged France into deeper chaos. The Catholic League, outraged by the murders, declared open rebellion against the king. Henry III's power waned as the Catholic League seized control of Paris, forcing him to flee the capital. Desperate to regain his throne, Henry formed an unlikely alliance with his former adversary, Henry of Navarre. Together, they laid siege to Paris in a bid to reclaim the city and restore order. On August 1, 1589, as the siege of Paris continued, Henry III was staying in the town of Saint-Cloud. It was here that a young Dominican friar named Jacques Clément approached the king under the pretense of delivering a message. Clément, a fervent supporter of the Catholic League, had been radicalized and convinced that assassinating the king was a divine mission. As Henry III leaned in to receive the message, Clément removed a knife hidden under his cloak and plunged it into the king's abdomen. The wound was fatal, and Henry III succumbed to his injuries the next day on August 2, 1589. His death marked the end of the Valois dynasty and a turning point in French history. The assassination of Henry III sent shockwaves throughout France and Europe. Henry of Navarre, now the legitimate heir to the throne, faced immense opposition from the Catholic League. However, he ultimately prevailed, converting to Catholicism and being crowned King Henry IV in 1594. His reign marked the beginning of the Bourbon dynasty and ushered in a period of relative peace and stability. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, please like, share and subscribe for more captivating stories from history. Leave a comment below about what historical figure you'd like to learn about next. Until then, stay safe.